Hey everyone, Team Media here for some Lee Light, I don't know. Rainstorm gifted this to me and said I, he thought I would enjoy it, so let's check it out. I have no idea what this is. Long ago, in a small town, there lived a family of vampires. They were very kind souls and got along well with the humans there. By the way, if the music's too loud, chat, go ahead and let me know. But one dark night, one of these kind vampires attacked a human town. Before anyone knew it, they'd already sucked out all of the human's blood. Sounds like it's a little loud, honestly. I'm gonna lower it just a tad. The news that they had attacked a human was soon revealed to the others. The vampire was executed, and the townspeople lived happily ever after. Or did they? Oh yeah, it's day 666 of the daily stream, so I figured I might as well do something that's kind of spooky here, half spooky. Are vampires real? Are they bad guys? Vampires did exist, but not anymore. And if they were bad, I wouldn't know. In fact, I have not doubt this vampire attacked their victim willingly. It's getting late. You should go to bed. Oh, we're like telling us to <laughs> Can't we all sleep together? If you do, the wolf will come, so lock the door and fall asleep quickly. If you stay up too late, you won't be able to get sleep at all. Okay. Good night, father. They're like, you know, the child talking to him. Yep. Good for me. Narration. So yeah, day 666 of the daily stream, and Rainstorm said this is supposed to be somewhat, you know, I don't know, weird, I guess, or spooky, so check it out here. How much more do we have to walk? Hey, papa. Are you listening? You are, right? I like this art style. Shut up, Runt. We're almost there. Just be quiet and walk. I'm not Runt. I'm Effie. And stop calling me that. It's getting on my nerves. Ah, oh, you're mean, Papa. Come on, you're always calling yourself different names. Hey, give me a piggyback ride. Sure, piggyback ride. That'll be a hundred thousand G. Big dummy. Oh, well, she told him. Now I can see the thing on the side of the screen tearing a little bit. I didn't move the screen perfectly. God ding these windows. All right, here, we'll try this. See, we're here. And remember, call me Leo here. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Oh. oh. This is Arpago Maker. Y'all like Arpago Maker? Liar. Lies with every breath. Huh, okay. I like the sound effects, the art style is beautiful. It's quite wonderful, actually. Oh, there's like eight way movement and stuff, too. That's interesting. I didn't expect that. V? Vermilion. It says Vermilion Town. Oh, I'm getting cleverer by the day. As long as you. Oh, oh, oh shoot. Oh, darn it. I skipped that by mistake. So, what are we doing now? There's an informant here. So we're going to sell the info we got at the last town. And this town seems to uh, have quite a bit to gleam itself. So we'll look into that. And then go sell that info? Yeah. Oh, so shut your trap. What? Okay. Right. First, a place to stay. Let's try and find some people in this thieving town. Hey, Arkea. Anything worth stealing in here? Eh. Alright. Actually, you know what? I do wonder. Oh, my controller does work. Alright, let's pick that up then. Okay. Serrated knife and a small macaron. Messy. Oh dear. Let's see, we could add uh, plus ten areno to Leo here. She's a 
attack him with a small cookie. Well, now she can attack him with a small macaron instead. Alright, so it looks like I can save whenever I want to. Das Guden. Alright. Oh, there's a person. Hmm, huh? Why are you here? What's it matter to you? Why are you here? Just resting my feathers. I'm tired. I'll be fishing for info later. Oh, right. If you find anything out about the town's legend, tell me about it, please. You better pay up for it. What do you take me for? Tch. I steal stuff. Ah, no steel Reno. Harry, wore a green jacket before, black hair. Huh, took me a bit to realize. Changed your whole appearance again, huh? But that scar on your cheek never changes, does... Hmm? Who's the kid? I'll tell you later. You know the residence this place are? Oh, need a place to stay? Talk to the guy at the large house in the northeast. Think the people there are the only real residents. Should lend you a place easy. I see, thanks. I'll be back later. Bye now, you too, kid. Er, er, I'm not a kid, I'm 12 years old. <laughs> Let's go before she makes us any more of a bother. Oh, we got some stuff. A big liar and a dragon all around. We got an achievement called Pants on Fire. Oh dear. Big liar. Dunno. <laughs> Alright. Dragonara. Alright. Why do I feel like stealing the stuff that's goobying me? Okay, that... What? 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 Oh. Little lie. Alright. We're gonna, like, go all philosophical, aren't we? Well, in any case, let's try to beat up this thing here. Ow. Sound effects are so good. I really like them. Makes me want to change some of the sound effects in Arpiga, but I wouldn't even know where to begin with this. I don't have like a bunch of spare sound effects. Sadly. Oh. Hello. My name's Leo. I'd like to ask you something. Oh yes, did perfectly fine. Is there anywhere in town where we could stay? I've got food for us, so a place is all I need. You travelers? Well, there is a place, yes. My sister and I are the only residents in town, you see. We can stay anywhere but this house in the library. At no cost, don't worry. Right. Thanks for your help. But a few people are renting out houses, so, well... Ah, I know. The house with the crates outside was just sorted, so it should be usable right away. Just, if you're staying a few days, don't go out late at night. What do you mean by that? You know, what I mean is... There's a vicious wolf that goes around at night, attacking people. Hmm. Right. I see. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Alright. If you need anything, I'll usually be here at home. Oh yes, introductions. I'm Keith. Keith Rigfire. Glad to meet you. Keith, is it? Sorry to bother you. Thanks again. Well, I'll be seeing you. Hmm. Wolf! That's scary! So scary! You're not a traveler, Papa. You're not Leo either. Liar! I'm Leo here. Just Leo. Got it, Runt? Yeah. Don't yell at me. Okay. Got it, Leo. Good. Got a place to crash. Let's go to the informant. Oh, well, I guess we are. Okay. But first. The library. A whole lot of books. More a whole lot of books. I wonder if one of these actually has something on them. Do I dare check them all? Do I drive you that mad that I would check every single one of them? And that no, okay, I don't. Right, that thing. Nope. Okay. All right. So we get to crash here, but we gotta go talk to the informant, which is 
So now I remember where they were. Got a room? Yeah. Now let's get to business. Right, right. I've been looking forward to this. Hmm. So the bluebird really does exist. Yeah. Couldn't capture it. But good enough, right? And you brought a feather. That the info is enough for me. Here's your reward. So I heard you came upon a dragon egg. Is it true? Eh, yeah, about that. Her. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> she hatched. From the egg. I still don't get it either. Are you serious? Really? For real? Ahem. <clears throat> yeah. Watch it, mister. Gotta be nice to girls, okay? She get just squished. Like this. Yeah. So what kind of dragon is she? Thunder? Amoeba? She eats lies. That's her diet. And she can breathe fire. Well, kinda. It'd be faster to show you. Hey, Rutling. That's Effie to you. Well, you see, Effie, me and him are brother and sister. No way! Yep, I lied. <laughs> Ooh, and now what? She gets physical. Uh-huh. Okay. Interesting. Alright, Athena leveled up. Got some stuff. I see, I see. That was faster to show me. Never heard of, and definitely never seen, a dragon like this before. Ah, huh, really? So not even you. But that's about it for now. I'm exhausted from walking. Gotcha. If it's okay by you, I'd pay a pretty penny for this kid. Huh. The runt's not for sale. I'll sell you info on her, maybe. Greedy, greedy. Why'd you pick this town to do business in anyway? So inconvenient to reach, and I don't think the value of the info is worth it. Ah, huh, well, if that vampire legend is true, it'd be worth my time, yes? Vampires? Pfft. I don't go chasing fairy tales. I'd sooner consider dragons the fairy tales myself. I'm told their bloodline ended a long time ago. But I'm sure I'm right. Says who? Says my gut. Hmm. Well, if anything comes up, I'll help with what I can. Yeah, at a price, of course. Right. See ya. Now who's the greedy one? Can you sell dragons? Eh, uh, uh, well, they're rare. They've got sturdy bodies, so they could fetch a good price. Mainly as slaves. Slaves? Anyways, look into it yourself if you want to know. I've got things to do. You can go off and play. Just don't leave the town. Don't go anywhere near strange. And here's a snack for later. Okay, hooray! Here we get the snack. What kind, what kind of snack did we get? We got some tea cookies. Okay. Hmm. Now we're wandering. Where can we wander to? I guess is the question. Let's bother this person. It's got dark, hasn't it? If the day's ending again. Stuffed rabbit. There's this mirror. Messed up. Assorted little things. Oh, we can steal people's beds. Oops. Well, here, yeah, I haven't saved in a while, I guess. Rabbit. Is that what it is? Oh man. There's candy. Stealthily take it. Yeah, sure. Got an achievement called Have You No Shame. Obviously, I don't. Probably gonna pay for that later. Oh my god. Just all these stuffed rabbits. Is, is this like the stuffing torn out? Oh dear. I'm not supposed to talk to people. Alright. I'm gonna steal your bed then. I feel like 
moving sideways is fast. Maybe it's because of this stuff. Slightly wet. It's sparkly. It's the same thing. Is this also sparkly? This is also sparkly. Some sort of decoration, seasoning, and other things. I go ahead now. Oh, this one's locked. Maybe we'll solve some puzzle A for later. Squeaky clean plate. All right. Time to do the exact opposite of what he said. Oh, we can't. Wait a minute, can we? No, doesn't look like it. Unless there's some secretos out here. There could be some secretos. Nope, no secretos. One day, there will be secretos. Alright. Where did he go? I thought we were staying at this house. Oops. I don't know what I just did. Take a rest. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now it's nighttime. Maybe nothing has changed. Oh, there's a new person here now. Oh, it's him. What? You want to play or something? Yes. Yeah, let's play. All right, then. Let's play word chains. You start. R is for relay. Yammer. R is for roulette. Entertainer. Um, R is for is for ruler. Register. R R. Oh no anymore. Then we're done here. See ya. You're no fun. That was a thing. Who's this mysterious person? Why did they steal my candy? Kidding. What if I can go bother her? Let's go bother her. Lost your energy? I'm hungry. Ah, I see. Okay, I'll give you cookies. <gasps> we got cookies. Only if you win this game with me. Game? I've got a ball here. You just gotta guess which hand I've got it in. Got it! Here goes. Ho! Ha! Which one? Oh no. Oh no. Oh my goodness. No! Oh, we got destroyed. We got a consolation prize though. All alone now. Effie's alone now. Oh. Well, I want to talk with me for a bit. Shall I tell you the story of the butterfly whose flapping caused a tornado? Or perhaps the story of the dreaming illness? For money, right? No thanks. He taught you well, hmm? <laughs> All right. If you're bored, would you call my partner here for me? He should be in the library. His name is Levin. Recognizable by being a cat. Okay. Please and thank you. Never. How's it going, Bazzer? You Mr. Levin? Yes. Um. Oh, I, oh, I don't actually know her name, huh? The lady with the crazy hair who goes, Shh, a bunch called for you. Oh, you mean Rosalie. I see. Thank you very much. Excuse me. We cats must always sound sophisticated, you see. That's settled then, I guess. Favor complete. Okay, what's next? Who knows? I guess I just keep looking around for stuff to do. They have something for me to do. Uh, Effie's not a child, so I'm not bored. Is that right? Pardon me. Uh, oh my. Would you like something to eat? I like baking sweets so I could whip something up. Yay, I love sweets. Oh, they won't make me fall, though. Are you a race that only eats something in particular? Yeah. Hey, mister, tell a lie for me. A lie? I was cleaning until just now. After that, I did some reading, and I finished making dinner a little while ago. Oh, no. 
What are these? Uh, now I punch them. Which one's the lie? Ooh, which one is it? Cleaning earlier. Hmm. And I uh, did some reading. Finished making dinner. Uh huh. That one room looked pretty messed up. Uh, it was probably the dinner though, because the table was empty. This is the truth. Okay, let me try the. Let me try the dinner one. Yep, it was that one, okay. That's surprising. Does your family ever leave the town, mister? Uh, no. Not many roads are passable by vehicle, so it's inconvenient even getting here. Inconveni? Yes. You're tired from your trip too, I suppose. Yeah! And the town being empty is very worrying as well. I'm rather frail. My sister's younger and frailer girl still. Whoa! Oh, I feel bad for you guys. Bad? all these lands and towns all over the world. You haven't seen it all, but it's all different. It's all great. The world's really huge. And if you say so, but I'm satisfied with the little world with my dear sister. Still, I thank you kindly for the conversation. <laughs> oh, I thought the twist was going to be that a lie was going to show up. I would have to be like, oh no. Uh, Rachel, right? Yeah, Rachel. I'm Athena. Call me Effie. Effie. Is that red man who is with you your brother? Nah, Leo's my papa. Your father. I don't have a father anymore. You're just my brother. Huh? Really? Yeah. When we were little, he collapsed one day, and the next day he was gone. Are you lonely without your dad? It's fine. My brother's here. He's really nice. Oh, but... But? One time, he did strangle me. He looked really sad. Huh? Leo, uh, he yells at me, sure, but he's never strangled me. Oh, I see. Maybe we're different then. We're a different race from the townspeople. That's why everyone went away. Huh? Hmm? I don't get it. If you don't like something, you should just say no. Or else nobody will know. No. 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 Once more. No. You got it. <laughs> Thanks. It was fun talking with you. Yeah, you talked a bunch, Rachel. Well, you should play outside sometimes, too. Let's play again later. No. <laughs> I lied. Yeah, let's play. Oh, no. She lied. That means there's a lie on the thing. Is that really a lie, though? Yeah. I wonder if I should eat this. Because that didn't, that didn't really seem like a lie. She just said no. You know, it's like... Yeah. Let's keep walking around. Find some other things to do. Okay, Leo's not back yet. Now he's here. If you're tired, curl up in bed and sleep. Oh. Free experience! You drive a hard bargain. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I guess it's this bed in particular. That's nah, not just nothing.
Well, I have to say, I don't see anything else that I can do, so maybe it's worth uh, giving that a shot. Ah, eat everything! Pop! I swear things look like they're very slightly changing, but that might just be me. Rosalie, my mistress, yes. Though selfish, I do admire her determination. But once she makes up her mind to do something, she will not stop until it's achieved. As for other good points, hmm, well... I'm missing you. Oh no. Vampires, and I wonder if vampires can soar in the sky. How do them lies taste? They taste pretty good. Have something for me to do? Have a little. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna hide in this bush. Nope. No hiding in the bush. Oh no, now he's gone. He must have gone back. Back to the past. Had fun. Yeah! All right, now give me the usual. Tell me everything that happened and what you heard from people. Okay. That's it. Yep, that's all for now. I see. That lends credence to the theory of them being descendants of vampires. Vm, A race that thrives on people's blood. They, they eat blood or drink it? Suck. They attack people and suck out every last drop. They die? Yes. Yes, they do. These days, vampire bloodlines have weakened such that they don't drink blood anymore. But it's also possible their nature's just lying dormant. In any case, the info's too shaky to say anything yet. Ah, sleeping. I'm going to bed. You should too. Don't go doing anything weird. Hey, Leo! <laughs> no. Don't grab my sleeves just because they're long. Why do you think I eat lies anyway? If I knew that, you'd have a mountain of sweets in front of you by now. Really? Well, why am I the only one who can eat lies? You and other people can't. Uh, sleepy. Eh, well, I'm not sure. But it's a fantastic power, uh, like no one else's. See, Effie, even if you mean to tell lies, they end up haunting you. And lies that come out of guilt and regret and all, they get bigger. Then it gets too much to handle, and lies completely overtake you. And then just total darkness. But if you eat people's lies before that happens, you can keep them from that fate. So I think it's a wonderful power. Oh, I see. So I'm pretty amazing. Oh, yes. So very amazing. But when you lie, Leo, monsters don't appear like with other people. Listen, Effie, everything I say is 100% truth, even if I were lying. If a lie is never found out, it's not really a lie. Okay, I'm off to bed. Huh? But night only just started. Go to bed. Now. Okay. I'm not even sleepy. Let's go have fun! Yay! Fun time instead. We're so good at our job of not doing things. Alright. Hey, Shadow. You we were cooking dinner. What did you cook? Were you cooking with jobs now? Asleep. Maybe now I can mess with that mirror now. My god. The sacred technique of bookmark usage. Rice, roni, and stuffing. Okay. Starting to wake up. Wake up. Mm. 
Anybody in the library? Nope. Let's see, the only other characters I'm aware of are these guys. Let's talk to them. My eyes are a bit worn out. I would not say reading is one of my strong suits. Vampires. Okay, she's still talking about vampires. Hulk, flicked his forehead. <laughs> Perhaps we must leave the town. Anybody out here now? is here. I'm watching you, Bush. Hey, Rain. Yep. What up? hard part? I don't know what the hard part is. <laughs> There's one jank thing. Okay. Ain't no one here yet. Some sort of decoration hole. No, no PDW today. I'm going to that end of the semester party. Oh, there's a small key. Top left corner is a really hard to see alleyway. Oh, it is! Oh, wow. So it is. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Doesn't look like that did anything, though. Oh, the story is interesting. I'm enjoying the characters. I'm the star. Nah. I enjoy how moving sideways is faster. It's gold deny physics. Yeah, I've been talking to people already. They don't have anything interesting to say, it seems. You steal anything from this backpack? Nah. Oh, that was slightly different than before. He's asleep. I poked him. I can poke him again. Hey, Effie, where's the white-haired guy? Asleep! Whoa, that's early. Hey, Effie, do you still remember when you were born? Yeah, um... I thought things were bright, and I saw Leo, and his eyes got all white, and then I got a bath towel. I see, I see. Well, do you know why you eat lies? Hmm, that, I don't know. Hmm. That's nice, very interesting. He's quite the liar, so you're never short of food, are you? Um, when someone lies, I can smell it out, but I can't eat it until I know for sure if it's a lie. If I eat a truth, it tastes gross. But Leo doesn't smell of lies, and I can't tell what's a lie or a truth. It sucks, except in the, the opposite hand. And he even keeps his truth to a minimum. Hmm. Real enigma, he is. So you can't eat clever lies. And if someone knows it's a lie, or if the lie themselves... Yeah, I'm real mysterious too. 
Hey, what about those heart fruits? What are those? Oh, you mean these love berries? The yellow ones are sweet, but the red is a little sour. Also, they're pretty soft, so they go splat if you throw them at people. It's them all sticky. Myself, I throw them into the eyes of my foes to daze them. Aren't they food? Ah, so many mysteries. I've been developing a real interest in you, Ethel. Easy, I won't do anything. Alright, there's still a little something I need to check. Man, look at the time. You should get back, too. Didn't that guy tell you not to go out at night? What, the wolf thing? Can't be that scary. I've beat up bears before. Bears? But you're just a weak little with one teeny girl yet, Effie. Go back and get some rest. I'm strong, too! <sighs> See, good night. Head straight home now here. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Got dark, huh? I should go straight back. Man, I got a bad feeling. But y'all know I'm not. That's why we have these save points. Do 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 Good dang it. Something happened. Oh well. Wait, the alleyway. Somebody's there. You're... <laughs> the wolf. Yeah! Oh, we got an achievement for that. We found what we wanted. I can fight the moths. Oh, sweet. Let's do it. Get over here, moths. God dang it. There we go. All right, everybody must perish. Oh my god, those are worth a ton of XP. Got an achievement called To the Flame. Hey, can I just, can I just keep fighting the same moth over and over again? <laughs> and getting free stuff? I get free stuff? could be invincible. And I learned to dragon eye. Oh. I get beaten things up. Well, that one's not worth as much. Come here, this one was worth more. Yeah. Oh no. Come back, moth buddy. Come back, moth buddy. Yes. Oops, I think I hit run by mistake. Yay! Keep fighting! Cheap tactics! Everybody cheap tactics! We learned to howl! We can howl at the moon! All right. Sleep. When do right for chill? You know what? Okay. What? What's? What else is hanging around here? Maybe I can find someone else doing something suspicious. Nope. They're all asleep. I don't have anything we can say either. We're just gonna sneak on in this bed. All right, everybody has gone to bed. But what if we return to the informant's house? Aha! I knew it. Nothing happened. Okay. Hey, that scream just now. Hmm, let's check it out. Stay right behind me and don't wander off. Even though you're probably a higher level than me right now. Yes, you are. Dang it. 
Stop making me look bad. I was doing a bunch of reading before. Actually, I guess I could heal up. Darn it! No healing up. Alright, let's go fight that wolf. That was a long scream, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh! Oh! Now good. She's gone. Really? Really. Hey, hey, she's wounded on the neck. Yeah, you're right. Hmm, looks like bite marks. Well, what to do here? Off to tell the winged informant, I suppose. What are we gonna do? I'll give them a call, much as I hate to see them. It's their job to deal with this kind of thing, after all. Dead. <laughs> they did. Now we get her stuff. All her stuff is ours. Okay. Whee. No one else hanging out? All right. Oh, locked door. God dang it. There wasn't a phone in here or something, was there? I don't think so. So I see another one. Something happened. Someone died. Probably murder. By a wolf. Even though we're going to suspect it's vampires. Now I see everything. Huh? It was the informant in the hat. Lend me your phone so I can call you know who. <sighs> I'll make the call. They'll be here tomorrow morning at the earliest. Go to your place. Lock the door and stay inside. Glad you understand. We won't be asking for any money later, right? You're so rude. I just don't want to lend you anything important to my work. I wouldn't stand for it if you sneakily made off with the personal info on this phone. You trust me that little? What are we going to do about her? Just going to have to leave her until they arrive. Yes, if she was indeed murdered. We wouldn't want to make any missteps on the crime scene, yes? You're leaving her like that? Can't do much else. We're no experts. Experts. Still, though, it's hard to believe the Hatter was done in. Wasn't she rather strong? But she could also go down quick if anyone got behind her. Oh, would she? Is that what happened when you first met? Still not enough info. I'll gather more tomorrow. Oh, uh, that a, just at a glance. It looked like there were bite marks on the neck. So you think this town's vampire story? Still think it's up in the air as whether that's true. Hmm, how uh, puzzling. Let's think it over carefully tomorrow. Good idea. All right, see you. Geek here. It's time for more stabby rabby. Stabby rabby. Stabby rabby. Yeah. Oh no, now it's not worth as much. What have you done, game? You've stolen my XP for the last time. Ah. Oh, there it goes. All right. We got Leo a level up. Back to bed. Can you go to sleep? Oh. Uh -huh. If you really can't fall asleep, you can sleep over here. Oh. Uh -huh. Hmm. As if you're actually that dejected. Good night. Good night. Yeah, everybody hates everybody else. That informant with the hat just stopped moving. And I'd only just been talking with her. Will I ever get to sleep tonight? I might not. Oh, we went to sleep. Ow! Finally, we're leaving. Get ready. I'm sleepy. I've got more where that came from. I'm up! Warning. Good. Let's go. Yes. We're so good at our jobs as a superhero who slaps people. 
Oh! Long time no see. Yeah. To be expected, though. You're always around when these things happen. A child? Hey, let me make this clear. She's not my kid. Captain, I'm all done with... Huh? Yeah. You again? I suppose you're the culprit in this case. And that child there, isn't she a dragon? First fraud, now kidnapping. Where does it end with you? Dragon? She hatched from an egg. The egg just suddenly appeared under my bed. And hey, just try and prove that fraud incident. You're not calling me a crook without evidence, are you? I'm, I'm down a bit, Brett. Bah! As you wish. Hmm, indeed, she does seem to be a dragon. Fellow dragons know each other just like that, huh? He's a dragon? Right, forgive me. Hello there, miss. I'm Neil Maysfield, captain of the police. This is Vice Captain Brett. Well, he and I are both dragons, same as you. I never met any other dragons before. Uh, I'm Afina, call me Effie. Hmm. We still have business to attend to, so excuse us for now. We intend to stay until the culprit is caught. Come to us for anything. Captain! Unless I indicate otherwise, it's our duty to protect even these two. Hmm. Thanks. So long, then. So those guys are dragons, too? First time you've met them, huh? Well, I have been avoiding them as much as I can. But when it comes to dragons, they know their stuff. I see. Time for me to gather info. You can, uh, go play, I guess. Oh, yay! You know the drill. Don't wander off too far. I know. All right. I'll go see her first. Oh, but I'm going to talk to these weird people without faces. This is the blood taken now. Seems like the marks on the neck were from some sharp animal fangs. Oh, hello. <laughs> the wolf comes around here. Hard to tell what animals are thinking, so they're hard to fight. It's nice that the captains can fly, but we're not dragons ourselves, so it's rough keeping up with them. To ho 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 ho. To ho 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 ho. The place is so empty, huh? I mean, it's not like I'm here for fun, but the captain and vice captain are doing almost everything, so if it's not a major case, maybe we could disperse within the day. To ho ho ho. What up, punks? The body grows large while the inside degenerates. Hmm. No, no, I'm not speaking of anyone. Just talking to myself. Oops. Morning, Mr. Swindler. I'm Leo here. So, any new info? Right, I'll tell you what I gathered yesterday. This is an old story. There's a family of vampires who lived in a certain town. They were very gentle souls, yet there came to be many cases of missing townspeople. But then one day, those who had gone missing were found in that family's mansion. Drained of their blood! Was that this town? Oh no, this happened elsewhere. Afterward, the family was executed for being horrifying vampires. But it seems one from the family was able to quietly escape from the town. And they came here and married an ordinary human. With each generation, the vampire blood gradually weakened. But one day, decades later, another townsperson was attacked. What then? That's all I learned. I couldn't find any records of anything after that. The pages were ripped right out. Ah, that's right. This was written in a book, a diary perhaps, by someone named Jail Ribfire. Seriously? That's the same as what I found. Hmm. In short, the ones who would know the most should be those siblings. Right, I'll go check with them. Ahem. <laughs> ah, what? My payment? I already knew all that stuff. What? You should have told me that first! Here. Yeah. What's this now? A tea cookie. I could have told you that! I'm asking why you're showing me this! What's this? Does an informant like you really not know about these cookies? Huh? Ah, now then. I can't believe there'd be anyone who doesn't. I know, of course I know about these cookies. From Milk Tea Town? Yes. Only one baked every two months? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You know all about these cookies, do you? Believe me, yes! Then you must know the value of them, right? I'll take it as payment. That you will. Counting on you if you find a new info. Yeah, thank you. Ho, 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 ho. We are miscreants. In this library? Nah, I don't know. I wonder where she ran off to. Is she in the alleyway? Oh, no, just a bunch of douchebags. And they ate the body. It seems someone was attacked. Even after my insisting they refrain from going out at night. I'd like to ask you some things about that. Oh, and who are you to... I said I was a traveler, but the truth is... So this makes you a detective? Yeah. Sorry I had to hide it. <laughs> Alright, I'll do whatever I can to assist. Thank you. Now then, what were you doing last night? I was reading a book, and I nodded off. After that, I was woken by a person's scream. Then I locked the front door. Since it would be dangerous if the wolf came inside. I see. Now then, are you familiar with the vampire legend in this town? <gasps> well, not so much. I did hear from my father that there was such a legend, but it was long ago, and that family has long since perished, yes? Is that right? Thank you for your time. No, it was nothing. Goodbye. This guy is a terrible liar. <sighs> but for now, fine. Next. His sister. <laughs> Alright, he's not that evil. Hello. Mind if we talk for... No. Huh? No. I, I see. Rip. Ripperino. Time to steal things. Oh, I brat. Is she? God dang it. There's gonna be candy. Let's keep perplexingly destroying her. She's tired. She's still tired. There's no chance of docking door now. Kids are tough to deal with. Incidentally, the design for the detective badge got changed last year, didn't it? They changed it a lot. I wish I knew how to make those replicas myself. Guess I'll ask him some things too. <sighs> what do you want? Found anything out? You've been here investigating, I hope. Yeah. As you saw for yourself, the victim, Carol Delada, was stabbed with a knife. There were multiple stab wounds. But not much bleeding, it seems. Not much blood at all, in fact. So that's the sticky stuff on the wall. Oh, it looks like blood, but it's some kind of juice. Tastes a little sour, I guess. Probably Loveberry. You licked it? That was the fastest way. Captain, might I recommend not licking everything you see? Hmm. Even if it were poison, I would... Oh, forget it. What about the wolf? Wolf, huh? We've only looked a little, but we haven't found one yet. In fact, I don't sense any animals around here at all. Bugs, maybe, but that's it. I see. Thanks. I'll make a note of that. Oh, Nat, no. <laughs> Come on. 